Hey guys, I'm doing a review on the e-scoot. I just got this scooter and I absolutely love it. This is the best scooter that I've ever owned or seen or have ridden. It has a 450 watt engine motor. Guys, I weigh 240 pounds and the max capacity on this is 256. And it had no problem getting me up to speed very quickly. It has three different modes. One's an economy, one's mid-range, and the last one is the sport, which is very aggressive. I mean, listen, I was getting it on. I mean, you should have seen me. It was, it was like I had uh, gone back 30 years in time. You should have seen me on the road. Guys, I really, really like this. One of the things I like about it is the fit and finish and the build quality. This thing is built like a tank. You can see by the welding right here. Whoever welded this, uh, they knew what they were doing right here. Look at the welds right here. The pipes are extra heavy duty. They're solid. This unit breaks down so you can go ahead and fold it all the way down so you can transport it. It has a light on the front and a light on the back. And the best part about this scooter is this, guys, that I absolutely love. I can hook through the Bluetooth, okay, my smartphone. And it's gonna tell me everywhere I've gone, how fast I was going, where I was, how much battery power. I can turn the lights on, I can turn the lights off, I can switch through the three different modes. I can do everything from my phone and they actually even give me a phone holder. Best part of all, has this cool little bell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at the grips on this, guys. The grips on this feel good in your hand. Here's your accelerator. This is all you're doing. If you hold the accelerator for three seconds, it goes on to cruise control. The way to turn it off is you just tap it or you tap the brake. So if I'm driving along and I want to go 18 miles an hour, I just hold it there for three seconds and all of a sudden it's going to beep. That tells me it's on cruise control. I can either flip the switch, just barely touch the switch or barely touch the brakes and it takes it off of cruise control. To turn the unit on, I just hold this button and it comes on. Now it's bright out here, so you're not probably going to be able to see that, but it's going to tell you how fast you're going, how much battery life you have, what mode you're in. Let me tell you about the brakes. I've ridden some of these that had shoddy brakes. These brakes, they're ABS and they break evenly, meaning when you pull this, it's braking in the front and the back and it breaks solidly, it breaks evenly. You can be hauling and someone goes in front of you with a car and you literally can lock this scooter up, but you gotta hold on. The scooter will stop, okay? But you gotta realize that momentum is going forward. <laughs> you could fly off. It stops on a dime. Guys, the deck is large enough for a full grown adult. It's 7.23 inches across. I ride it like this, one foot here, one in the back and I have more than enough room. Some people have one foot here, one foot like this. The tires on this are really high end. I mean, it reminds me of something that would be on a sports bike. The shocks uh, are going to absorb a lot of the road bumps going off of a curb, going through gravel, and it actually does a very, very good job. I mean, listen, I was uh, going through some terrible terrain and it was just holding. Now you feel it. Don't think for a second, you're not gonna feel it, but it's not so much that it's throwing you off. It's not so much where it's dangerous. Once you turn the unit on, and again, you're just holding the button for three seconds and it comes on. If it's not super bright, you can totally see the display. If you hit the button twice, it's gonna turn your headlamp on and it's gonna turn your tail light on. You actually can see this thing at night and the light is more than sufficient to be going down the sidewalk and going down the road. When you get it, you pull it out of the box and it's very securely packaged. The only thing that you have to do is put this piece right here in here and put two screws there. So you're not having to figure it all out. Two screws here, two in the front. This is the part. You just slide it in there anyone could do it. It takes about five hours to fully charge this unit. And here's the thing, it will go and go and go. They say you can get 40 miles out of this. 
That is not true, but that's with all manufacturers of scooters. That is under the best possibilities, okay, on a windy day and the wind's behind your back. Do you understand? Really depends on you. How much do you weigh? What mode do you have it in? Are you driving it in sports mode or is it in economy mode? Now, if you were driving it and you are smaller than me, I'm 240, and you were in economy mode, I honestly think you probably could get 40 miles out of this thing before you need to recharge it. Is there any negatives to it? No, and yes, it's a double-edged sword. Let me tell you, because of the technology in the engine, when you are riding this, if you overheat the engine, there is a safety mechanism on there. It's going to turn it off for 15 to 30 to almost an hour. It just depends how hot you got it. So if you are on the heavier side and you are going up a 20% grade and you continue to do that, yes, this the scooter thing. will preserve itself. Now, so that safety turn off switch that's automatic and you never know when it's going to happen. And so the other day, what was taking place is I was driving like a madman in sports and I'm going up the hills and down the hills and up the hills and down the hills and I'm, I'm way, way away from the house and all of a sudden she dies. And I thought, oh no, you gotta be kidding me. This thing just died? What's going on? I just got it. Did you read the directions, Matt? No. When you read the directions, you're going to find out that this is something that's totally awesome. So if it gets to the place where you've really abused it, meaning you've been riding for some time and you've just been going up some huge grades, more than 20%, and you've been going through the drive through an awful lot and you're heavy, guess what? You're gonna heat up that motor. And what's gonna take place? It's just gonna shut off, but in an hour. It's no longer than an hour. Sometimes it's 15 minutes, sometimes it's 30 minutes. They can't tell you in writing exactly how long because who knows where you live? Who knows how hot it is that day? Who knows the environment? Guys, I really want the auto shut off. Would you like to continue driving it and then all of a sudden you burn out the engine or blow up the battery or something even worse? No, you'll just notice it just shuts down. And I, I thought, oh no. And again, I went and read the directions and I read up on it. Again, if you will stay on level ground and if you won't kick it in full blast the whole day, you're not gonna have a problem with it. Uh, understand this, okay? If, if Depending on how much you weigh and how you drive it and the grades that you're going up. Now what I've done is I've adjusted my riding habits. I try not to go up any grades. If I see a, a, a grade, what I do is I just walk it up the grade. Well, I don't wanna do that. Well, that's fine. I hope you weigh 90 pounds or 120 pounds, okay? I'm 240, I need to do that because I don't want to be walking home no four or five miles. Now what I do is I just take a different route where I notice, hey, it's mostly flat and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Guys, this is an awesome scooter. It's the best one I've seen. I've done my research and I can't find one that's better. There's always gonna be pros and cons to every one of these. This is one of the top three that they're selling right now. I actually would put it as number one. And again, each of them has a little thing that you like and that you don't like. Some people complain about this one that it turns off. I want it to turn off. I don't want it to blow up. I want it to last. I've invested a lot of money. The batteries, they're solid. They're gonna last you a long time. Guys, this has the BMS battery system, which regulates the battery. It helps it to utilize the battery, helps you not to overcharge it. It helps it to go longer and further. And I like that. It's a high capacity battery. The battery in this alone is probably five to $600. The majority of scooters and the majority of of electric bikes the most expensive part is the battery they didn't skimp out on this all that i've read this system has everything you need if you take care of it and you don't abuse it as far as again negatives if you were short okay i'm six foot tall and this is how i stand right here on this okay so if you are on the shorter side you have to realize you might be like this you might not be comfortable on it but some people that's not a big deal as long as you can turn the handle i think you're going to be fine All the cables are internal within the tubes look at this is the only cable that you see and that's the brake line for the abs everything else is inside um, I just don't think they could have done much better. You have they this have wonderful anti-slip deck on it. Um, this is 
polymer right here so this is thick but you can't stand on this and again let me tilt it to the side there's your battery here's where you charge it and again you're just going to plug it up they give you the cord they give you everything um, again look at the fit and finish on there there's no sharp edges. This isn't a cheap unit. This is solidly made, and I'm very impressed with it. Guys, I know there's a lot of manufacturers out there. Listen, listen, listen. I know there's a ton of manufacturers, and everyone's pushing there. This is number two, if not number one, in the industry. Taking the pros, taking the cons, everything that they put in here. It's all the things that you can't see that they've done that makes this number one, okay? As far as speed, when you're in sport mode, it gets going and it goes far. That's enough talk. Let's take this for a ride. And again, the last time I rode it in sport mode, uh, I got every bit of about 20 miles per hour, especially downhill. I got about 18 miles out of it. And again, that's in sport mode. So, I mean, you can really go a distance with this. If you're lighter or you have it in the first mode, which is economy mode or the mid mode, you're going to be able to go much farther on it. It just depends on your driving habits. Let's take it for a ride. Peace out. Right, guys, I'm loving this e-scoot. I am scooting on. I'm doing about 15 miles per hour with one hand. I could hammer it. I don't want to go too fast with one hand. I guess